Fan Zone. Brought to you in part by Ortho Georgia, The Sanford Company, Capital Cycle, and Dent Doctor of Macon. With Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. And we're back. Let's now head north to Forsyth. The Mary Persons Bulldogs and the Jackson Red Devils have played every season since 1949. It's always an intense game as these two, two schools, they just don't like each other. Brian Nelson's Bulldogs are coming off a solid 9-3 season in 2014, but they lost a lot of talent from that squad. Mary Persons beat Jackson 41-21 last season and has a huge advantage in the series. Here we go to Dan Pitt Stadium. Mary Persons and Jackson for the highlights. Here come the Bulldogs to the backyard brawl opening kickoff. Bulldogs onside kick. How about that? They pick up and Tarakis Danley. But they weren't able to do anything with it. Neither was Jackson. But later on in the first quarter, Mary Persons went to work. Jake Johnston, number 18, launches it. 18 yards, Justin Stroud for a first down to the Jackson 22. Next play, Johnson gets it. Hands off to number 23, Jaquavia Sims. He's going to get about 15 yards right there. And Mary Persons to the 12. A couple of plays later now, fourth down at the 12-yard line. Johnston back, shotgun, puts it in the air, scores. Roger Aikens in the end zone to give Mary Persons an early lead. The extra point would be up. And good, and Mary Persons would take the lead by the score of seven nothing. That was the score at the end of the first quarter as well. Second quarter now, Red Devils have the ball. Shendarius Crowder to Nijay Smith, and watch him go. A 91-yard touchdown, pretty play right there, and that's a score for the Red Devils after the PAT. A little high stepping going on right there. It's a rivalry, you know that. But after the PAT, it was seven to seven. Later on, Bulldogs Johnston. Passes it to Stroud, and he's going to go for a nice run, and he's going to get right to the seven-yard line for about a 25-yard pickup. A couple of plays later at the one, they're going to give the ball to Zach Harvey for Mary Persons, and he's going to jump into the end zone for the score. Bulldogs have a 14-7 lead at the half, and they win it tonight. Good win for Mary Persons to start the season. 28-21, they host Waco next Friday night. Now to make an Ed DeFore Sports Complex, Rutland and Westside in an early region game in two AAA. Here we go, no score in the first quarter. Rutland on the 37 of the Seminoles handoff to number six, and he's gonna get all the way down to the Seminoles one yard line. Nice run right there. Next play, Kavian Fuller hands off with Darian Womack. Touchdown, Rutland. They're gonna miss the PAT, so it was six to nothing. Hurricanes didn't kick off, and number two, couldn't have that name in the program there, but he was gonna pick it up and run uh, from the 10, run right to midfield for about a 40-yard run. Nice play there. Seminoles then. Knowlton back looking. Gets Jeremy Mitchell, who's going to fumble it. And Rutland can't pick it up. But Tadarius Berrien recovers it for the Seminoles. And they would have to settle for a field goal. They'll take it. Three points. Blaine Halverson up and good. And Westside cuts the lead to 6-3. to three. Now second quarter. Seminoles get it back on Rutland's 35. Nolte to Mitchell. Nice completion. He gets inside the Rutland 10-yard line with a nice run right there on the right sideline. Now Nolte. Steve Dolphus. Touchdown. Nice pass right there. And the Seminoles were on top by the score of 10-6. Rutland had trouble moving the ball as Westside's defense played very, very tough. Watch this run right here for not many yards. And then the Hurricanes had to punt it, and they block it. Lakeva, Kelvin Clark. It bounces around, and Edward Veal is going to get it and score for the touchdown. That made it 17 to 6 Westside. Seminoles would go on to win this ball game by the score of 38 to 19. Westside's at Harris County next week, while Rutland will host Northeast next Thursday at Ed to four. We stay in Bibb County. Covenant Academy hosted Crisp Academy tonight at Waters Field. You got to watch this kid right here. The first drive of the game. Covenant third down. Cody Clark hands off to Kristen Tate. You talk about a load. Look at this guy right here. Looks like Jerome Bettis. Touchdown, Rams. They missed a two-point conversion. Had an early 6-0 lead. Still in the first quarter. Christian Tate again. Get out of this man's way. Hey, you get out of my way. Red shirt. Don't do that again. Get Look at that kid. He is big, and he's going to score for a touchdown. 14 to nothing at, hey, get out of our way. That's so rude. 14 to nothing to score. Bet he knows now to get out of our way. Hey, Chris McKenna answered back Jackson Hall. That's a nice run right there, and it's going to put the Wildcats on the board for six points. They would miss the PAT. It was 14 to six. Rams still on top. The Rams answer back later in the first half. Cody Farr gets Owen Friel. Look at that catch right there. Pretty play right there, and he's going to score. Cut back midfield and go all the way in for the touchdown. Rams were up 30 to six at the half, and they go on to win this ball game tonight by the score of 44 to 15. Covenant starts the season with a victory. They play Nathaniel Green next week. Tucker Sargent's coming up. He'll have our Game of the Week. Warner Robins at Peach County. 
right after this. <laughs> 